Hey, so what we have here is we have a Philips single electric breast pump that was working earlier, but it was dropped and it no longer pumps. Just going to show you guys a quick tutorial of what to do and what to look for if it quit working. First of all, to, in order to get to this actual pump and look on the innards, we have to take this top piece off. But before we do that, I'll show you guys where to start. Simple enough, all you got to do is take this bottom piece, twist it, and that cap comes off. From there, this is where it gets hard. Once you actually get to where I got, you'll see right here, these tiny little clips. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six clips. And those clips go here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And in order for you to actually do that is you got to find a way to stick a flathead and a piece of tool inside of each one of these little grooves to kind of dislodge those clips and push them in. And what I did was just simply grab a coat hanger and bend it a little bit. Just work it here. I kind of stuck it in there. I looked where that tab was and I just did it until it popped off. And I did that for each six of them. It's going to help if you have a flashlight to put in one end and then just look through the other end to see where that little clip is. So once you got all six clips, it's kind of easy after that. You basically just disconnect three clips or three little clips that hold these uh, connections in. Once you got the three clips taken off, you just slide this up. So the problem I had was once it dropped, this little motor, this little rubber tube came off, and this little rubber tube came off. This one just holds the motor in place on the frame, but this is the one that holds the actual suction. So it was an easy, simple fix. I mean, all you had to do is just push this little clip back into this motor part and then push it back onto here. It's not really held in by much. It's maybe an eighth of an inch at the most it goes into there and then it's held onto there pretty good. And then this one just popped off of this little thing here. And I'll even show you guys. So basically that's what that looks like. And it just it doesn't take much for it to come off if you drop it. You, all you do is stick that in there, push that in there, and then this bottom one goes onto there, and that's it. Once you have that together, and you push this down, this will complete the suction, and that's pretty much it. Once you figure that out, you just basically got to put everything back together, and you'll have a, paste, a working pump again. Figure maybe this will help someone in the future if they have uh, the same issue, but again, this is the tool I use, just a coat hanger cut up and bent it a little bit. And then for some of you, you may not have this special special torque bit. If you can see, it's like a star or something like that. So what you can do is just use, use a flathead that fits in there. And I think there's four of these screws that you got to take out. And those are basically the screws that go here. Again, I hope this helps someone. You have a good day.